when you go through the whole medical system, you're in the white water of allopathy. You're getting uh, spinal taps. You're getting chemo. You're getting operations. And it all becomes bizarre. I have a spectacular image of Nancy up on the eighth floor in a section that was abandoned. And she went over into a corner of this room that was all tiled, but pristine and clean, no furniture. And she started to go into a slow dance. And she was doing this. And she said, you know, Peter, I see people coming up through the floor. I see people coming all over the place. Well, I'll bet there were, you know, I'll bet there were. Diagnosed fall of 99, you have non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Well, it's cancer. But what happened was it migrated into the spinal cord. Of course, that's now in your central nervous system. The grief around her disease. I mean, in a way, the disease, a contradiction. The disease nourished her work. So there's something, cancer, the cells. People would look at those fearfully. Well, they became beautiful. Beautiful. What's beauty? Well, beauty is just about anything at any time for somebody. Yeah. Beautiful. Good artists, they deal with what's in their lives. That's what's right front and center, where, where they're at now. And, all of a sudden, she had this whole garden of microbiology she could get into. Oh, she worked. She worked like a beaver. Worked her ass off. But she was on a journey, for sure. And I think for artists, artists are aware of the larger picture in an unconscious way, but it comes out in our work. And then it surprises us, like, Jesus, yeah. It's like we're communicating with ourselves through our work, just communicating with society from a deep place. Her life drove her work. Her dreams were important to her, and they were definitely the source of a lot of her imagery. But she has some images of, it's called fragile structures. One, it looks kind of like a rickety bridge. There's a series of these. That was something she dreamt about. In the end, it's nothing, but the work is something. The work is large. Like all good work, it's large, and it stays with us for a long time. And it uh, gives us direction and meaning. She was a wise woman, and she lived in a larger place. And in her work, it appears as if there was no death. Death wasn't a thing. It was, at most, a doorway. <laughs>